Home contractors discovered a human skull while working on the house, which is located at 7242 High Bridge Road. When they discovered the human remains and called the Manlius Police Department, they confirmed to the Onondaga County Medical Examiner Officer that the remains were a human skull. If anyone with any information about if you, if anyone with any information about this innocent incident, please call 315-682-8673. Yesterday, a Georgia Sheriff spokesperson, Captain Jay Baker, came under fire after statements he made about the suspect in the Atlanta area spa shootings, which killed eight people, including six women of Asian descent. At a news conference, Captain Baker said Robert Aaron Long, who had has been charged with eight counts of murder, was fed up and that Tuesday was a really bad day for him. The comments were criticized as inappropriate and insensitive to the victims of the attack. Baker said Long told investigators the attacks were not racially motivated and he wanted to eliminate places he considered temptations to what was a sex addiction. After the remarks, screenshots surfaced of a post by Baker from March 2020 that promoted anti-Asian t-shirts. The Facebook page now looks to be unavailable. A teen from upstate New York with cystic fibrosis wows judges on American Idol. 15-year-old Brianna Cochillo from Spencerport, New York, impressed judges Lionel Richie, Katy Perry, and Luke Bryan with her performance of singing Scars to Your Beautiful by Alessia Cara. During her audition, Coachella spoke about her battle with cystic fibrosis, a disorder that damages the lungs and makes it hard to breathe. Singing and cystic fibrosis are on different sides, said Coachella. Usually the cystic fibrosis, your lungs are scarred, but my lungs are not scarred and my voice is not raspy, so I want to inspire the people. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. I am joined by Tony Alessandro from the Manoa Fire Department. Sure. What brings you in today? Hello. So the reason why I'm here is... Uh, of course, because of times with COVID, uh, I'm not able to meet with everybody uh, during your lunches and answer questions you may have. Um, the reason for me being here is, is for recruitment for the Minnow Fire Department. Uh, I'm a captain uh, with the Minnow Fire Department, and right now times are difficult with COVID going on, and right now it's, it's scarce for members all across the county. Um, for Minnow Fire Department, we're one of the special ones because we're right here in your community. Right now, we are getting ready to start up a program. Uh, it's called the Junior Program for, for Younger Members. What it is, is anybody from the ages 14 and 15, you're able to join the Manoa Fire Department come this summer. And with that, you are able to come to the station, help out around the station, get to know the fire service. Once you become 16, you'll be able to become a full interior firefighter. Uh, so this will lead you up into the process of becoming a, a firefighter. So a lot of you high school students here at ESM uh, will have that opportunity uh, to see what the fire service is like uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Why is volunteering so important for the community? Yeah, so, so if you don't volunteer uh, and we don't have people responding to the station for calls in Manoa, what happens is they call mutual aid. Uh, mutual aid, what that is, is that it would be East Syracuse Fire Department, Kirkville Fire Department, also in your community. So if you live in those districts, what I recommend is if you can't apply to Manoa because you might live there, to apply to one of those uh, area departments. They're always looking for new members. Uh, and that, at those stations, those will be 16 and up, they'll take members. Today we'll have a high of 42 with mixed rain and snow showers. This weekend is going to have sunny skies with highs of 35, 49, and 57. Monday and Tuesday will warm up to the 60s with sunny skies. Wednesday will have sun and clouds with a high of 67. I'm Gabby with your weather. If you don't actually want to fight fires, can you still help the Manoa Fire Department? With with the Manoa Fire Department, we have uh, a section called the support group, which maybe you might want to come just pass out water, um, you know, when we're on a fire scene. Um, we also do have uh, a section called an emergency medical service. So what that is, is you respond to EMS nature calls, maybe somebody fall, have, have fallen, um, you know, maybe somebody's sick, you, you can respond to those kind of calls. 
um, as well. You do have to be 17 in order to do that, but we can get you in there and, and teach you how that's done as well. What can you do at home for fire safety? Yeah, yeah. So, so big things for uh, for day to day for uh, for living in your house. Uh, always when you change the clocks, always change the batteries. Make sure your, your smoke detectors are working uh, with those. Uh, always, always work on a on a pre plan for if there is an emergency in your household. Where is the family going to meet? Is it going to be in front of the house, in the back of the house? Uh, try, try to figure that out with your family, especially if you have younger brothers and siblings. Uh, and a big one this time of year is uh, shoveling out the hydrants. Uh, if you have a hydrant on in your lawn or maybe it's your, your elderly next door neighbor's uh, lawn, uh, feel free to shovel it out. It, it saves us time. Uh, the faster we can hit that hydrant on a house fire, uh, the better we will be and, and the more we will save. Thank you for coming, Tony. If you'd like more information, go to manoafire.org. Notable free agent signings from the NFL are A.J. Green has signed a one-year deal with the Arizona Cardinals. Mike Hillen has signed a four-year deal with the Cincinnati Bengals. Kyle Lawn has agreed to terms on a deal with the Kansas City Chiefs. And Andy Dolan has signed a one-year deal with the Chicago Bears. Tonight starts the NCAA tournament as four playing games will decide fates of four teams. Mount St. Mary's and Texas Southern are the first game. The second game is Wichita State versus Drake. The third game is Norfolk State versus Appalachian State. And the final game is UCLA versus Michigan State. Tomorrow's when the real madness starts as the Mid Midwest and the South regions all play games. And my final four picks are Gonzaga, Michigan, Ohio State, and Illinois. I have Illinois and Gonzaga winning in the final four and Gonzaga winning it all. And I'm Tanner Ruby Sports. That's all the time we have for today. So for me and everyone here at the morning show, have a great day.